All right, we're excited now to have with us Vicki Wysocki of the Ohio State University. She's speaking here this week on instrumentation for surface induced dissociation, native mass spectrometry. Now tell us what technique has been developed in your lab for native mass spectrometry? So the technique that's uh, really unique to my lab is the use of collisions with of ions with surfaces, large protein complexes with surfaces to cause them to come apart in a way that tells us how the different protein subunits are attached to each other. So surface-induced association, native mass spectrometry. Why is this technique so unique and important? Uh, we think it's really important because what we're able to do is uh, learn how the subunits are attached to each other. Um, and that's something that you don't really get with other techniques. With uh, the common commercial technique, which is collision-induced association, you actually unfold one of the proteins and just get a highly charged unfolded monomer and the leftover piece. So you don't really learn, for example, if you have a hexamer that's a dimer of trimers, two trimers, you don't learn that from the common commercial technique, the collision-induced association. What are some of the challenges that you're currently facing and, and do you have solutions for them? So some of the challenges are making this technique very easy to use for many different labs. It's not yet commercially available. So trying to design new ways to do it uh, that will allow people to not have to spend much time on tuning and, and not have to know very much about it to make it sort of very user friendly is one of our biggest challenges right now and something that I'll talk about tomorrow. That's a nice little teaser for people to come and check it out. Vicki, thanks for the time. We appreciate it. You're welcome.